eternal source of all which is. Thou who sendest spirits of error and of darkness to the untruthful, which cut them off from thy love, do thou send unto him who seeks thee a spirit of truth, uniting him forever with thee. May the fire of this spirit consume me all the traces of the old man, and having consumed them, may it produce from those ashes a new man, on whom thy sacred hand shall not disdain to pour a holy chrism. Be this the end of penitence and its long toils, and may thy life, which is one everywhere, transform my whole being in the unity of thine image, my heart in the unity of thy love, my activity in the unity of the works of justice, and my thought in the unity of all lights. Thou dost impose great sacrifices on man, only to compel him to seek in thee all his riches and all his delights, and thou dost force him to seek all these treasures in thee only, because thou knowest that they alone can make him happy. For thou alone dost possess them, who hast engendered and created them. Truly, O God of my life, I can find nowhere save in thee the root and realization of my being. Thou also hast said that in the heart of man alone canst thou find thy repose. Cease not, therefore, for one instant thine operations upon me, that not only may I live, but that thy name may be known among the nations. Thy prophets have declared that the dead cannot praise thee, let death then never come near me, for I burn to offer thee immortal praise. I burn with desire that the eternal Son of Truth may never have to reproach the heart of man with the smallest clouding of thy splendor, or the least diminution of its fullness. God of my life, the utterance of whose name accomplishes all things, Restore to my nature that which thou didst first impart to it, and I will manifest that name among the nations, and they shall learn that thou alone art their God, thou alone their essential life, as thou only art the movement and motive principle of all beings. Do thou sow the seed of thy desires in the soul of man, in that field where none can contest with thee, since it is thou who hast brought it into existence, sow thy desires therein, that the soul, by the force of thy love, may be snatched from the depths which hold it, and would swallow it up forever. Abolish for me the realms of images, scatter the fantastic barriers, which place an immense interval and spread thick darkness between thy living light and me, entombing me in their folds. Show unto me the sacred character and the divine seal of which thou art the custodian. Pierce the center of my soul with the fire which burns in thee, that my soul may burn with thee, till it knows thy ineffable life and the inexhaustible delights of thine eternal existence. Too feeble to endure the weight of thy name, I leave in thy hands the task of erecting its complete edifice, and of laying thyself its first foundations in the depths of the soul, which thou hast given me for a torch, showing light to the nations, 
that they may no more dwell in darkness. Thanks be unto thee, O God of peace and love. Thanks be unto thee, because thou hast been mindful of me, and hast not willed that my soul should want, lest thine enemies should say that the Father forges his children, or is unable to deliver them. It